What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing DoorDash and Uber Eats. I had so many issues. I was on the phone with the customer the whole time I was waiting for their order. I had missing drinks, I had an order, I had a hard time canceling because I don't know what support was doing. And then I had an order cancel on me, a fire order. But before we get into the video, I want to show you what I made on Solo last week. If you haven't heard of Solo yet, they are guaranteeing earnings on many apps that we use, um, including DoorDash, Uber Eats. I'll leave a link below. I'll also leave a video I did dedicated to explain how Solo works. But I made $20.47 last week. They do pay out every like Tuesday night. Um, and if you sign up with my link, you'll get you'll automatically get $15 and that will be put into your account the following Tuesday night. As long as you link an active gig account with at least one order on it, and you have to link your PayPal or your Venmo. So I'll leave that down below along with the video explaining all about it. I just want to show you guys that I made $20, and it's basically free money, so go check it out. I got my first order at Subway. It was $6.60 for two miles. The Subway was literally right next to me, and then I got this add-on. I didn't get a picture of the subway. But I got this add-on like instantly for $8 to miles. But the thing is, if you see my last video, I picked up from this subway and she did not start it until I arrived. So this is for 12 items and I don't know if I'm going to wait or if I'll just get out of the subway order and go across the street and pick up the pizza order instead. Um, well, I just got here. I'm walking through Walmart right now. It's probably because she didn't start your order yet, but I'll, I'll go ask her. Hi, do you have an Uber order for Shantae? So there's one at two, and then another one came, and they already came and picked it up. Okay. She's actually on the phone right now because she sees multiple drivers picking up the order and then canceling it. If you want to give me a few minutes, I can do it. Or she can get refunded. Okay, she said that a, a driver came in and picked it up. Because there was two orders, the same order, there's twice, an hour apart. And then somebody picked the first one up. And I looked at it and I was like, I don't know if I should make it because I didn't know if it was Yeah, well, it looks like they picked it up and like canceled the order and then it came to me to pick it up. So she can get a refund? Oh, she already reordered it. Oh, she did reorder it. Yeah. She had to reorder it. Okay. Alright, well, she's making it now, and I'm going to wait for her to make it, and then I'll bring it to you. Oh, my God. Okay, so she made everything so quick. I made the drinks. I grabbed the chips. I was going to get out of the pizza order, but she made the sandwiches so fast, so I didn't. All right, I got the pizza. I was in and out quick. It was already ready. Um, so I feel so bad for this first Subway customer because she told me on the phone, she said, I'm just confused that it keeps going to different drivers. And then she said she originally ordered it at noon and um, a couple drivers canceled it. So she got a refund. So she reordered it and a driver canceled it and then now she sees me so she's calling me and I told her I was like you know what I'm going to wait for them to make the order and make sure you get your food because um, and then she was saying that her her kids are like starving waiting on this food and sometimes it's more about making sure the customer gets the service that they're paying for and then they're more likely to order from Uber Eats again. Cause imagine if I just canceled the order out or, you know, I told her on the phone, well, she didn't start yet, so I'm not waiting on it. She would never order Uber Eats again. <laughs> okay, they are both delivered. Um, I won't see, yeah, it shows the base pay. The base pay was $2. Oh, it says $8.40 now. So both base pays equaled out to be $8.40 somehow all right so on doordash i just got a six dollar two mile order at mcdonald's right up here i know six dollars can't go up but i want to keep busy 
I got the goods. I don't know if that's a hotel or an apartment, but it's a leave at door, so let's head over there. All right, now I'm getting a $6 for 0 0.6 miles. It's up here at a subway, a different subway, I might add. I don't know if I'm gonna keep going to that subway in Walmart because I always have an issue. Or they wait until the driver shows up to start making the order. And I mean, it does take some time, but I always have an issue there. All right, so as soon as I got here, DoorDash says that there was an issue with the order probably means it was canceled but it is not on my phone anymore so that sucks alrighty eight dollars and ninety seven cents three point five miles they are in the plaza right behind me all right y'all I'm just sitting in traffic like literally inching up as we go but I'm looking at my first order that I did where I had the issue. It's saying they didn't leave a tip at all. 617 for customer one. Customer two was the pizza, $9.25. And then it shows a 656 tip. So the first customer didn't even leave a tip. Her order has been bouncing around um but then it, it was also the second time that she placed the order because the first one she had to get a refund um but i waited and i told her straight up like i'm gonna wait for your food she's making it right now i'm not leaving until she's done you know i thought maybe that would leave her to like increase the tip but there was no tip on there to begin with. All right, it looks like we're going back to Marco's Pizza, 852.4 miles, right across the street. Let's go pick it up. All right, complete delivery. Let's see, let's see. I think I accepted, oh, $9 even. Sweet 450 tip. There is a peak pay of $2 right now. That's good to know. $10, 1.6 miles, uh, and then it's my turn to go. The reason the drive through is wrapped around, the doors are locked. The lobby is apparently closed. There's not signs anywhere. I'm going to message the customer and say, bro, I'm sorry, but the lobby is closed and the line is wrapped around. You know, like you're not gonna get your food. <laughs> Okay, I guess they waited long enough. They canceled the order. That's not a good one. All right, it is now raining. Here comes the rain. Do, do, do. I'm hoping it was bringing in good tips. I got this order 2.8 miles, 850. It's right across the street. I guess I'm gonna accept it. I got the goods. So their computers had like just glitched or like went out with the power. But my order was the last one to go through and it was complete. I just had to fill the drink myself, which I really don't mind. Are you working? My camera, like it did this to me the other day. It would, mm, 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 it would not turn on. I just delivered the food. It came out to $9. I didn't click it yet nine dollars got it thank you <laughs> y'all sixteen dollars for two miles for the wendy's the wendy's that you can't get into <laughs> this is almost worth trying to sit through the drive through for but should we sit through the drive through it's sixteen dollars sixteen dollars it's sixteen dollars for two miles I accepted it. I, I mean, it's $16. I bet you that is all base pay. That's how long they've been waiting. That is crazy. Let me know down below. Would you have taken this order knowing that the lobby is closed? Knowing I'm gonna have to sit in probably a long drive through line. But I mean, for $16 and two miles, even if it does get canceled, I get like, you know, $4 out of it. But let me know if you would have accepted this or if I just made a huge mistake. I'm having trouble understanding. You 
can also say things like account. Or you could give me a person. Hey, I need a person. I think you're asking to talk to an agent. Yes. To better assist you, please help me understand why you're calling today. You can say things like problem cashing out. What in the world? I'm trying to cancel this order and tell them that they are not accepting any more orders. Four point four miles, ten dollars. All right, I got the goods. So the thing with this order is, it's the same name and last initial as the Wendy's order that I just got out of. I I don't know if there's a relation there. So as I'm walking up there, I'm curious, you know, I smell the food, it smells amazing. And I'm looking at what they ordered, it looked amazing, and then I see a Coke. I'm like, she gave me a lemonade, why did it say Coke? And then it says lemonade. So she gave me one out of two drinks, and I just realized it. So before I clicked delivered, I like texted it really quick. I just, you know, communication, I wanted them to know, like, I just noticed that there was a, another drink on the order, and she only gave me one, and I said sorry. I had a pizza order for $8 for two miles, but it, like, literally took a second, and then it disappeared. Now I'm getting a Taco Bell order, $8.75 for 3.7 miles. Not as good, though. Not as good, but we're going to take it. Taco Bell is right here. All right, I got the goods. It was already ready. Leave out door. It looks, oh, it says sweet. So it looks like an apartment. Sweet, so we got $10, $5.50 tip. I did wait around the corner for like literally not even a second, but I wanted to make sure they came out and got their food and it didn't like, you know, disappear somebody walking down the hallway. Oh, wait, this is a good order. All right, 850, 3.6 miles. This is kind of a good order, so let's accept it. I have my glasses off because I'm Eddie trying to make the intro, <laughs> and I got a good order, so we're gonna go do this instead. We got the goods. Look, isn't that so pretty? It's a leave at door. Do not ring bell or knock. All right, so before I lose any more daylight, I wanna end this video here. If I calculated it correctly, I made $77. So I've been delivering for three hours and what, 40 minutes-ish? Maybe three hour, three and a half hours. My DoorDash has been having problems syncing through GridWise, so that's why I'm not putting um, like the screenshot on the screen like I normally do. I feel like we had enough excitement for the day so glad my last couple orders did go very smoothly 11 whoa 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 hold the phone this one says i received an 11 dollar tip i was offered 10 dollars and there was a three dollar hidden tip on there so 77 plus the three that puts me at 80 dollars in three and a half hours even with all of the issues i had i did have some great super easy orders with high payouts or even higher that's amazing thank you for the tip definitely going to send a thanks for that one so i guess we made out pretty good so please give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and share it with a friend if you have someone else that is interesting interested in driving or somebody that drives that needs help <laughs> we all have those friends um thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video